to fight these guys. These are dead ringers. Okay. Since I'm still trying to save MP, I'm just going to try to attack them. How much damage do they do? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Hopefully that's enough to take him out. And Bro should have enough damage to kill that guy. And no, we missed. Okay, I'm going to, uh, to try to finish these guys off. Not enough. Not enough for the win. Too bad. Oh, she does look sad when she's, like, crouched, doesn't she? HP increase, HP increase, strength increase, and they dropped a battle axe. These guys do hit hard, but they do reward well. I'm going to heal. Be right back. Now, if you've got the mithril axe like I do, you won't need the battle axe, but you can always sell it. And for all this work, we get a notice. What's a notice? And it's going to be all the way at the bottom. I've been using, uh, huh, a gem that calls forth an ice drum. I've been using my potions along the way. I still have quite a bit of it. I sold uh, quite a few off as well. All right, so back down to the stairs we go. All right, this time we do want to go east, and this time we are going to be headed north to find them. Um, what's this? Would be a shadow going to burn it with fire. Now I'm running low on MP with Nova, but I'm not too concerned about that right now because I still have one ether that I got off of Mindu. So if all else fails, I can always use that. And down go the ghoul and the zombie. Probably should have saved it, but that's alright. 236 gil. And we continue making our way north, back up to basement two. Now we want to continue south, and then we're going to head east here to find a treasure chest. And in this treasure chest we get another battle axe that we will sell because uh, we already have something better. And an antidote, just in case we get poisoned apparently. Now we want to head north here. And in here we find a mithril mace. I don't have a mace user though. And a monster suddenly appeared. What monster do we have in this scripted battle? We have grenades. Uh, they are weak to fire, so I'm going to go ahead and use fire on it. I know I'm low on MP right now, but I'm okay with that. These guys they hit hard, and I don't want to waste the potions on them right now. And down they all go. Get 67 gil, but most importantly, we got that mithril mace. Nice. Now it's time to head back down to basement three. Yes, this whole this whole little floor here was pretty much a treasure hunt. So back to basement three it is. This time we have to head the third way, which is south. The only way we haven't gone yet. The way I wanted to go originally because I remember the quickest way instead of how to get everything. So further on we go and down once again to basement four. So we head north as far as we can and to the west here we find a treasure chest. And what do we have in there? We have a potion which I actually do need. This place is becoming quite the grind. And in this treasure chest, we get an ice scroll. Awesome, kind of. Oh, oh, there's there's many paths here. All right, we want to go directly south, all the way here to find another potion. And what do we have over here? A mithril spear, which I already have equipped on Bro. And you want to ignore the trap door here. Yeah, it's another trap. I want to head down the stairs to basement five. Yeah, five basements already, and it's just the second dungeon, you know? Well, the second real dungeon, the one that we just went on through the mines or whatever, or sewers, doesn't really count. So at this intersection here, it goes south, then west. And there we find another treasure chest uh, with an ancient sword. Awesome. But there's a fight here as well. What do we have this time? We have 
Ugh, an enemy strikes first. But the shadows, they're not nearly as powerful as they might look, especially with all our mithril gear on. Hopefully I can take them out with just one round. Uh, not before they get a shot in. Oh, and they cast Dark. I forgot about that. Now I have eye drops to cure that, but considering it looks like I just need one more person to hit, nope, nope, took him out with one round, so screw Dark, I'm set. 187 gil, and then bro's HP increase. Not that he really needed it, but I will take it. Now let's take a look at, oh, the darkness. It lingers. So we're going to need to use Asuna, finally. Finally getting a chance to level that up a little bit. That's what it looks like inside the, uh, well, the menu screen. Let's take a look at the Ancient Sword. It casts an Ancient Curse, not on me, on my opponents. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that, take off the Mithril Sword. We will not be needing its services anymore. Now, what we want to do from here is head east down here into this door next to the water. This one is finally not a trap. It's a room full of beavers. They they don't really have anything to say though. Okay, well what about you? You seem kind of alone and by yourself. Can you talk? Apparently wait Bro can understand beavers. He's the beaver whisperer. I speak with him. O okay. Ask about the goddess's bell. I'm not making the joke. I'm not. He's talking to a beaver. Bell inside wall protected by a monster. Thank you, bro. Um. Yeah. I think I think I'm done here, but through the wall you said? Is it like here? Where's your secret passage? Oh, there it is. And it leads us to basement number six. And what do we have in basement number six? It's just a long narrow hallway, isn't it? Isn't it? So we continue down the long narrow hallway. And forward we go. There's really only one way you can go here, so take it, and it will lead you to victory. Continue going forward. And here we find a silver plate, which I don't think is better for anybody. Oh, it is. Okay. So then, um, yeah, I guess we can keep it on loop for now. That's good. I am going to take this opportunity to heal up before we fight this monster. Be right back. Okay, just one quick thing before I get started. I, I don't really use the items to, to equip anything, but for this battle, I equipped Nova with the notice to call forth an ice storm. I think we're ready to take him on. It is the guardian of, of, of Goddess's Bell out of man toys. Whoa. Turtles can rear up on their hind legs. I did not realize that. So first things first, shield. Second thing, calls for an ice storm. Use it on the animatoids. You attack, you attack, you guys can't really do anything else. Oh, it missed, everybody. Ice storm 16, did you see that? 16, and it does 500 damage, which is enough for the win, yeah. Now this thing is just like that spike toys that we fought earlier. If it hits you, it can kill you. One shot, no problem. So you use that notice. You use it good. And it will lead you here. Something is embedded in the wall. It is the goddess's bell. Which we have just obtained. And the stairs lower, revealing a door. But not... Wow, really a battle? 
this game will not let me keep my epic moments epic at all. So yes, through that stairway we have found ourselves back on the first basement floor. And continue on back to the main entrance and what the hell? Yeah, it's time to save again. We're not done here. Be right back. Alright, I am ready. What is up, Borgen? Damn you, you've ruined me! The Emperor will not tolerate failure. I can't go back now. Well, if I'm going down, you're coming with me. And he kind of laughed again. It was weird. And it's time for another boss fight. It's time up against Borgen. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. So, first things first, once again, you cast shield on everybody. You, on the other hand, get to cast... Yeah, we'll go with fire. Fire's good. You attack, you attack. And only Joseph got the shield. That's okay, because he does 150 damage. Fire 4 does 84. That's okay. Looks like Joseph got a critical hit. That's what happened there. And down goes Borgen. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. And Joseph HP increased, his endurance increased, and we get a mythical knife. Not that I have any knife users. Whatever. Anyways. He goes down, and I just start to walk away. I don't give a crap. So you've got me. But I'm not going alone. Take my final gift. It's going to be a hell of a ride. That's definitely him trying to laugh. What the hell is that noise? See you down there. Holy crap! Oh! Oh, we got an Indiana Jones now. Get the hell out of there! No, it's coming too fast. No, Joseph! You coming with us? We want you come. Just go. I can't hold up too much longer. Go now! No, Joseph! It's up to you now, Molly. I'm always with you. No! We couldn't Indiana Jones our way out of it. We had to sacrifice Joseph. No. Joseph! And down he goes. I did unequip him once again. I don't want to spoil the plot by saying, oh yeah, unequip the guy, but yeah, I did. Um, the boss battle is not really that difficult to take on Borgen without, without Joseph, so yeah, feel free to unequip him beforehand. And now we're back outside the snow cavern, and that looks like it's going to do it. Really, game? You've been trolling me this whole session. You're not even going to let me do my outro? Fine, I won't even move. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. When we come back next time, I'll be in Salamand and we'll figure out what the hell we're supposed to do with this goddess bell. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.